All right, so check it out, guys. So I've got all these annular cutters, and yes, that does say bad on it. I need to replace this 26 by 30 millimeter. This thing is smoked. Not the point. <coughs> I got all these annular cutters, and I just have them in a bag, this bag, and stuff gets moved all the time and I can't find it. So what my plan is, is to take this here Put it there, and this will hold all of those. So I got everything cut up. This was literally just a piece of uh, scrap, 16 gauge that I had laying around. Um, I used this when I uh, built my sheet metal break to make sure it would bend 16 gauge. Uh, with no problem and I actually ended up using a bigger sheet that went between the the hinges to double inspect that <clears throat> so anyway my plan here is I'm gonna take this this is a three-sided box of scrap metal and I uh, marked out some more scrap metal and cut squares out that looks like bacon um, anyway, we're going to get this welded up together. We'll get that straightened out so there's no gaps in there. And then we'll get everything cleaned up. And then we will uh, spot weld it down to there. By the way, have you subscribed? If not, go ahead and do that. And it'll enter you in to win in a competition, contest, giveaway. we got some cool stuff we're giving away. Once we hit 500, we're doing a giveaway. And then once we hit 1,000, we're going to give away a really nice welder. So hit that subscribe button and get you some free swag. Simple solutions using uh, leftover materials. It's a great way to save money and uh, be able to teach yourself not something new or try out an idea, make it a concept and uh, make it something tangible to see if that's going to work for you or it isn't without spending extra money you've already spent the money it's leftover stuff obviously i've got a uh, plethora of cutoffs and scrap and practice materials in there honestly some of this stuff i just need to take to the steel yard and, or the uh, scrap yard some of it's you know just anyway so here we go.
So there is the finished product. It does work, but I did learn during this process that this is sitting up too far and that's okay. So we can put some washers underneath this and pick it up or some flat bar underneath the whole thing there. And that was my mistake and not measuring that part. But other than that, this thing turned out great. Um, and realistically what you can do to alleviate that is uh, you can cut this down to two inches instead of three. And then your drill travel will be just fine. So that's how you do that. This is the finale of the mag drill stand. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, don't forget to hit that like. And if you would, please subscribe. It really helps the channel out. This is Brandon. And you've been watching Midnight Customs.